It's night and day. Drink it, 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 all day, day, day. Drink it, 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 day, day, day. Drink it, 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 all day, day, day. Drink it, 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 all day. Yeah. Ooh, that was a gorgeous rendition. Night and day are back again. We're not drinking Drano, and you shouldn't drink Drano either. It'll probably kill you. Night and day does not endorse Drano drinking. Just singing about it. We're Here we are, we're back for what's probably the final crash episode. Indeed. To a bug light. Wow. That's not what I was considering. I went, did... I don't know if Bug's Life came out first, or if... Crash 3, the original, came out first. Oh, you right. only have to get the special colored gems to unlock the hidden path. Right, yeah, yeah. You don't have to get every full gem in the game. Is that Was that the same for all the games? Um... Yeah. I, thought, I was thinking you had to get every gem. So then what is the point of getting every single gem? Um, and every onk? Well, the onks are just the time trial things. Right. Oh. You can't, so don't. you don't have to get them for any hidden extra ending? No, not the onks. Those are just time trial stuff. Yeah. Oh. So the gems you do have to get for special endings. Um, so... You get special gems to unlock the path to get the other gems. So, if you get a special gem from like a death um, part, then you can go to another... I love that. <laughs> but, yeah, you can go to another map and get that, um, get the gem from that map. And then the cycle continues. Okay. Oh, this is a, uh, oh, a it's light a night one. episode. That was oh. cool. Didn't think we'd be seeing another one of Hello, those. Friend. What? Yeah, I that time it looked like you jumped I straight into the spikes. Yeah, I could have sworn I messed up on that one, but I guess not. You weren't high on top of the boot or anything. It just looked like right on the spikes. <laughs> Crash impaled himself, that guy dies. <laughs> oh, Alright! Good job using my technique. The patented yeah. spin away all the fruit. <laughs> so you do... Okay. You... So you only need... Oh, we have platform. the blue gem. Yeah, let's use it! Uh... I, do I get checkpointed here? Or... I don't know. I'm I'm not a blue gem expert. I was just asking you questions about how the gems work. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's see what happens. I guess we've never actually gotten to this point, like on any of the other ones. Yeah, we haven't had this many of the special colored gems before. Oh yeah. Oh. The music even changes for this area. Oh. So nope, no, you don't get you a checkpoint there. So I guess that answers the question. So yeah, so if... To get the, the special ending, you need 100% gems? You need 100% gems, yeah. Okay, so the colored and normal. Right. Okay. So all the colored ones get you is the secret board, the extra level. Right, well, they give you the, um, the ability to get the rest of the gems to get you the extra level. If that makes sense. No. Oh, okay. It didn't. Because well, I thought they were saying if you have the colored gems, it, like the hint to this level was if you have all of the extra gems, it unlocks the special path. Oh. Uh, well, all the special gems... Um, because all the crashes had this one optional route on the overworld map that we could take, like... Right, yeah. Like, at the final of it all, you could, um... You could go a different path. Right. So, I, I thought that... Originally, I thought you needed 100% of all gems to get that. But I thought this... This just oh, implied that you only this... need the colored gems to get that thing. Ah, uh, well. All the colored gems opens a, a special path. They weren't saying, like, the, oh, you're not getting it? Oh, you're getting this first. Yeah. 
That makes sense. Oh, I got triple Ooga Boogas if I go there. Yeah, but you probably shouldn't get Yeah, it I'm not going to do that. Because the, the hint wasn't, you know, the blue gem takes you to a special path. It was all the special gems mm. together. Combine oh. their powers as one and become Captain Planet. <laughs> I guess in this one, like, yeah, this gives you all the special gems completely, but... Huh. Oh, I was fine before. So you did have a certain amount of time there. Oh, okay. I wonder if Getting this... that checkpoint was definitely the way to go. To yeah, go. definitely. Thank you. Um... Huh. I think you can make the jump. Alright, well that's... You're safe there, alright. Yeah, now this is a good level of challenge right here. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, I'm not gonna risk that. There we go. Oh, oh, no. oh no! Are you kidding me? Okay, so you do. This is the path. You right. need every single gem to right. do it. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, now you know. Oh, so much for that. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, all our confusion is cleared up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun. That looks satisfying. I'm satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> I've officially felt it. The satisfaction of it all. Oh wow, okay. Crunch. Please, please let me live. Thank you. Uh, like, even oh, those no. giant closing doors are like twice as slow as the ones in Crash 1. Oh yeah. Where we had the temple where it's just three it or four like of those things the, in a row. It was like the bats with that and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, that was insane. They really have toned down the difficulty in the world of Crash. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Get out of here, Apples. There's, you're like a race against the clock, so it doesn't make sense to uh, like slow down and collect everything. Oh, I see. Yes. Well, in the dark board I did in Crash 1, they gave you a new glow fly uh, halfway through the bonus stage. I could not tell you where I am right now. You also mixed, missed two boxes somehow. Somewhere. Huh. Wow. Oh, there's an extra glow fly there! Can you get it and run back to get the two boxes? Yes! Oh. There they are! Oh, you jumped on them as a bridge! Oh. And now you're you're losing your mind! You're losing your mind! Yes! Alright! Okay. Smooth sailing. Easy peasy. Uh, I'm just gonna hope for the best here. Yeah, that's the way to do it! Yeah! Uh, I think you did it! Oh, you're in that pit? Got it. You did it! No <laughs> way! Oh my god. <laughs> no way I made that. Cut it, print it, ship it! That was great! <laughs> that was insane. Well, that's cool, I guess. Now you have to not die before the end of the stage, All so right. you don't have to do that again. Ah! What? Oh, hey. Oh, hello, friend. It's a crystal, like the champagne. <laughs> Good old crystal. At it again. I wonder. Can I do this? Yeah, shoot as much as you can before you move forward. That's a great idea. Alright, well, as much as you could was that one thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, forget the fruit. 
Yeah. That's the good strategy. Half the fruit. Alright. Oh, I'm still. No. Oh, oh wow. yes! It was oh, okay. all nitro! What? No! Did that seriously just happen? What happened? The was that was that supposed to happen? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know what just happened there. Did you die or win? Oh, okay. I okay. I won. <laughs> I just. Oh my god! I was about to go insane if I died at the end of that. Yeah, I think it's faster when he does the squeaks. I could be I wrong think though. So. It could very well be. All right, Cortex, bring it on, buddy. Dr. Neo Cortex. Him and his surfboard again. Let's see if you were as cakewalky as you were last game. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the part where I'm supposed to be angry. Full of rage. Incensed beyond belief. Once again, you have outsmarted and outspun my best henchman. I should be rather upset, shouldn't I? And in fact, we're furious. But it seems you have overlooked one small detail, you little orange delivery boy. <laughs> now that you have gathered all the crystals, all we have to do is take them from you. I mean, haven't you been trying to do that most of the time? That's what you. That was the entire plot. Of <laughs> Second game. <laughs> Sometimes his force field fizzles out. All right. So Uka Uka has to be a mask. He, yeah. He only talks when he goes on Cortex's face. Huh. What? Crash Bandicoot for the last time. Give the crystals to me. So he's basically the mask. Oh, they're fighting. Ah. Finally. Tiki is being helpful. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Alright, so this is a throwback to Crash 1. He's <laughs> flying around on his little surfboard shooting at us with oh, okay. the ray gun. We have to keep... Can you touch the blue? I don't believe so. Because if not, our guy's not being all that helpful. Well, you can't oh. touch the red. You oh. can spin it, I guess. His, um... His force, like, just started coming back immediately. Should we test if I can touch the blue? Yeah, it's, it only takes two seconds. Might as well test it now as opposed to find out in the middle. Uh, nope. nope, okay. No, I can't. Alright. It's a friendly good guy laser, but it's not that friendly. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes sense. I, he could have done this the whole time. What was right. He, what was he doing? Like, we could have had the uh, infinite help be much better than it actually was. Yeah, don't just fly by and be like, I mean, it's nice that you're a friendly neighborhood shield and all, but right. we would also approve if you shoot this giant laser at every enemy that we ever come across. Does he really only have, oh okay, he has more than three health. Oh, maybe he doesn't. Oh, okay. Oh, he go gets his Ooga Booga Man. Yeah, okay. Why are you laughing? You're losing. <laughs> okay. okay. So those guys have become... They've the become new... one. <laughs> <laughs> Having some sort of weird form of tiki sex. <laughs> we just have to stay away. That's a good rule of thumb for pretty much everything. <laughs> Whenever anyone's having tiki sex. Why would you ever shoot the mines out if that's what happens? Just shoot your laser forever, guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like, those mines are not as deadly as the laser is. So yeah, this still understand. seems like it's much easier than... than the Cortex guy from Crash 1 with the 20 different types of lasers being shot on the screen at the same time. Right. And it seems like it's easier than Dr. Engine again, with his Gigantor life bar. Right, yeah, and he has like 16 different versions of, um, like, of him, like, turning into a Transformer and stuff like that. 
If this is really it, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> God, I hope this is it. It is! <laughs> <laughs> Why is the last guy such cake? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, man. What they if I really don't want. This hole? At least in the first. I'm glad I played the first one then, because the first one seems like the only one where he was that a was challenge. difficult, yeah. Defeated again. This is not fair. It really isn't. Maybe I should retire to a nice big beach with a nice big drink and a woman with nice big bags of ice for my head. It's not over, Bandicoot. There are still the gems. We still have a chance to triumph! Okay. Oh. So in this game, they're more explicit about, hey, that's not the real ending. Right. But when do they have another? <laughs> like, I don't think, um, like, the Crash Bandicoot, uh, like, racing game tied no, into No, they this. mean in this game, oh. until you get all the gems, oh, like, they're still going to have oh, their gem victory. Chance, yeah. I don't know. I guess so, yeah. Okay, so that's cool. Whatever the real Cortex fight is. Right, it might be Uka, actually Uka. Like, yeah. an insane hard... Uh, because to get all the gems is going to be insanely difficult. So to to fight him, it only stands to reason that that would be like one heck of a fight. Oh man, that was fun. I don't know. Maybe we'll do it. You guys should let us know if you want us to try to attempt to get 100% of all the gems in this one. Yeah, yeah. Let us know if uh, you want to see like what happens if you get all the gems and stuff like that. We could give it a shot. That'd be uh, pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, we didn't do it in Crash 1, and we're not gonna. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> Good luck on that one. But uh, Crash 2 seems more, like, easier to deal with, and Crash 3 definitely. Yeah, so, Crash uh, 3, I mean, potentially see the end of the story, I don't know. I mean, it's probably, it's not like we're reading this amazing novel or right. anything. Yeah. So, maybe nobody cares, but... <laughs> <laughs> if that's what, if it is cool and you guys want to see it or it is worthwhile because there's a crazy fun boss fight if you do it that way, let us know. Oh yeah, definitely. If, if it's like totally worth the, uh, if it's like a story bender or something like that, we could definitely check it out if you guys want to see it. So what oh, did yeah. you think? Was it, a, was it a worthy trip back to your childhood oh, favorite game? 100%. Yeah, this was like, this is definitely bringing me back to my childhood. This is... Hilar it was hilarious, it was like stupid, but it was fun at the same time. Like, none of it makes sense, but in the best kind of way possible as to what, what is happening. But uh, yeah, I, I love this game. Like, growing up, this is like, yeah, my first, my intro to video games. And uh, I definitely feel fantastic that I got to bring it back. And I'm sure for many of you guys too, it's like a real trip down memory lane. And it's super awesome. I love what they did with it, the remake looks so good like it's, it's just overall just to see it though how it looks now is fantastic what do you think for the first time seeing a crash bandicoot game like that since you've never played it before yeah checking it out for the first time i was actually pleasantly surprised i was i thought the games were really well done i was like i said i think at the end of crash one i was expecting crash to kind of be a pretty generic platformer basically just sony trying to create an artificial forced Mario clone so that right. they could have a mascot. I mean, mascots make money, it makes sense. Definitely. So yeah. they were just trying to go out of their way and get that for the play scene. But I mean, the way it worked out was different than that. Like Crash as a mascot, I mean, he's kind of goofy. Yeah. yeah. The gameplay is is really impressive. Yeah. Like, I still I still really like the variety in all of the Crash games. Like, there's a there's like like you said, it's like playing seven or eight different types of games instead of just one because right. of the amount of variety they have in the stages. So, I, yeah, I really like that. I still think the first game was over hard. Oh, yeah. Like, I they, definitely say so also. It was over hard and the difficulty was all over the place. Like, you had hard boards early on, like Native Fortress, hard boards in the middle, like the bridge. Yeah. And then, I mean, it was just weird. I, so, they, I guess the developers at that point were still finding their footing. <laughs> but... Yeah. Um, or maybe they're all just massive video game experts and it was all cake to them, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I other, other than that, I think 3 was probably too easy. 
But the games, we, again, we didn't do all the hardest stuff there is to do in 3, so it might be right. premature in saying that. But yeah, like the variety is amazing. The music was great. The characters were funny. I mean, overall, yeah, I was I was really impressed. Really like the game series. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. You can let us uh, know what you guys think about the uh, the remaster. If you liked it, or if you liked the originals better, like what your thoughts on it are. Because yeah, I, I really really enjoyed it. Getting to like see Crash again in his natural habitat of being weird and. Having the, the stupid, dumbfounded faces. <laughs> it's even better to see it in high quality. <laughs> so, yeah, they yeah. really were expressive with his, just the degree to which he looked like his mind was blown. Oh, and... yeah. Like in the originals, he's super blocky when you see him doing all those things. <laughs> so now to see like all that detail on his face when he looks so weird, it's fantastic. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, you guys, please let us know what you thought. What What's your favorite Crash game? If you like one the best, or three the best, or two, or whichever. And maybe most people probably like the one they played first the best, who knows. Right. Or if yeah. you agree with us that one is the hardest. I mean, From what I've read, most people seem to agree that one is definitely the hardest of the game, mm. then two, then three. But one is much harder than the other two. Right. And even more so with some of the changes they made to the physics and in the remaster. Oh yeah, it made it like really, really impossible to time some of the things that you're doing. Uh, but like, yeah, it took way, way too much time to get through one, and then two and three were a significantly like different level of, of ease. Like we can, if you can master one, then you can fly through two and three in like no time. Like it's, it, it's insane. Yeah, you'll be able to, just from our number of episodes we had, Three had a shorter amount, and then right. two, and then one had the most episodes it took us to just complete the game. Right. And then, so so yeah, that was our take on it. And, yeah. um, let us know what you want. Or, uh, yeah, also, if, if the difficulty ramps up, if you do all the optional stuff, maybe three is harder than two at that point. So if any of you out there have our Crash Masters and you know which ones are like the absolute hardest when you're going for full completion, then let us know that oh, too. Oh yeah, definitely. But yeah, if there's any other games you guys want us to check out, feel free to let us know. Drop a comment or something and just tell us what you want us to see. Yep, yeah, we're open to all genres. If you've seen the types of games that we've played before, we pretty much play anything. Like random platformer games, horror games, first person shooter games. Yeah, you pretty name much. it, we, we probably played a genre of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, fighting games, we've done tons of stuff. Yeah. So. We will, you guys can let us know what you want us to see next, and we will see you in the next game. All right, see you in the next game, guys. It's been fun. Goodbye, Crash, my sweet prince.